Hi, my name is Ethan Strimling. I'm a former Democratic state senator, and this is my colleague Phil Harriman, former Republican state senator. As many of you have heard, I expect by now, Elliot Cutler today released his voters and said, if you don't think I can win, vote for Mike Michaud or Paul LePage. Anyone who has supported me, but who now worries that I cannot win and is thereby compelled by their fears or by their conscience to vote instead for Mr. LePage or Mr. Michaud should do so. Bit of a game changer, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Well, first of all, I think I think Cutler's made a huge assumption that he has the power to release anybody's <laughs> votes. I mean, really, aren't we the people, the ones who are supposed to decide? We should release our viewers <laughs> to decide. But but that aside, what do you think the impact? Well, is? this is going to be uh, a day of cacophony, if you will. People who've already voted absentee. Uh, I suspect we'll be able to go into town hall and say, hey, I want my absentee ballot back because I want to change my vote now that this guy has essentially said I can't win. Um, he's still going to be on the ballot, so he's just statistically going to pick up a fair amount of votes. Maybe the percentage will drop from what we heard is 13, but it's not going to go to zero, so there's an impact. And I think the pollsters are probably euphoric right now because all the candidates who's got any money left want to have another poll to find out what the implications. <laughs> yeah, the pollsters are euphoric because they're about to get paid a lot of money <laughs> to do some more polling. Uh, clearly, this is a this has a tremendous impact, I think, on the race. Although Elliot was already fading pretty hard, it was clear he was not going to win. It's been clear to most political folks he was not going to win for about the last month, and he's finally acknowledged what we've seen. It's been a conflicting message in some of the polls, but I would say most of the polls say two to one or one and a half to one of his voters, if they leave him, will go to Mike Misho. So I do think that this is gonna be a bump for Mike. This is probably the piece that Mike needed to have in place in order to give him the best shot of winning, even though Elliot is not going to endorse either one of them. Well, plus you have to add to that that the Mishu supporters from around the country have dumped, what is it, like one, Point seven million dollars of advertising this in this week compared to Paul LePage's 500,000. So what will be interesting to watch as the days unfold is the momentum going to overwhelm LePage or our LePage Le supporter is going to say, boy, I, I, I don't want, I don't like what I'm seeing unfold here. I'm going to make sure I go vote and get someone else to join me. Yeah, I, you know, it, it, it's interesting because remember during the debates, Paul LePage is actually the one who said, I wish Elliot wasn't in the race because then I would have, I'd be able to beat Mike Michaud one-on-one. -on -one. Well, now he's, that, he's got that his wish. Theory, <laughs> he's got his wish. That theory is going to be tested.